Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times again. Now, let me ask you a question. How many of you wear glasses, right? Now, if you wear glasses or if you don't wear glasses, I'm going to guess that your parents are the same. If you wear glasses, I'm going to guess your parents wear glasses. If your eyes are very good, I'm going to guess your parents have good eyes as well. Well, that's because we get all of our DNA, all of our you know, traits and our hair, hair color, eye color, we get all of that from our parents, right? And our parents get it from our grandparents and from their parents and it keeps going. Well, how far does this really go back, right? Well, it turns out it goes back thousands of years, all right? Hundreds of thousands of years. So Neanderthals gave us allergies and immunities. So if we see this picture here, it's a picture of a normal girl that we know. And over here is a picture of a Neanderthal. These are a sort of a cousin species of people. They're a subspecies of uh, humans and they have bigger uh, skulls and sort of big heads and big bones. So as it turns out, we can blame Neanderthals for our sneezes, itchy eyes and runny noses. So these are when we have allergies, right? Uh, we get it from the Neanderthals. It's not all bad news though. Neanderthal DNA also protects us by offering immunities to certain germs. So now we can be thankful to this now extinct species too. So Neanderthals, they give us some bad things, allergies, itchy eyes, runny noses, but they also protect, uh, protect us. They give us immunities. Immunities means uh, it stops certain diseases from hitting. It protects our bodies. Neanderthals lived tens of thousands of years ago, about 40,000 years ago in what is now Europe and Asia. Today, about 2% of people's DNA can be traced. We can follow it all the way thousands of years ago to the Neanderthals. DNA is what determines or what controls our bodies to work as well as characteristics we have, such as hair or eye color, how tall we are, are we sort of a little rounder, um, yeah. Researchers recently concluded, they did many experiments and studies and they finally want to announce components of DNA called genes. So we have many genes and all those genes put together is what makes the DNA. Uh, we're inherited, we're given from our parents from these ancient people. So we inherit or get these DNA genes from these ancient people, these Neanderthals. It appears that there is a connection between these genes that affect allergies, the bad things, and those that protect us against bacteria and viruses. So we kind of have to get both of them together. We can't just have the good ones. People have immunities that we are born with and other immunities that we acquire or we get um, either through vaccinations or getting sick and building a natural resistance. So immunities, we can just get it the day we are born, right? We have that immunity, but we can also get it through the doctor, through the shots, and we can also get it by getting a little sick and then our body becomes stronger and our body makes their own immunity. One researcher said, the things we have inherited from Neanderthals are largely things that have allowed us to adapt or change to our environments. All right. We have three key review term uh, questions here. First one, A, when and where did the Neanderthals live? What is the setting of these Neanderthals? Neanderthals lived tens of thousands of years ago in blank Europe and Asia. So we can think of it like this. This part of the sentence here, we can say obviously they're dead now, they're extinct, there's no more. So this is all the past tense, right? But also Europe and Asia, it's still the same Europe and Asia from before. So we want to talk about this in a present tense. So we can say they lived in what is now Europe and Asia. Europe and Asia are still here, so we can use that in a present tense. Uh, these people, however, they're dead, so we have to use them in a past tense. All right, what is DNA? 
DNA is what? Blanks, our, how our bodies work, as well as what characteristics we have, such as hair or eye color. So, if our DNA wants our hair to be long, then our body will follow the DNA. Everything starts from the DNA. If we have a uh, little brown hair, then it starts from the DNA. So, the DNA is what really controls or really assigns our body. It tells our body what to do. It kind of controls it. So, it is what determines our bodies. So, for example, if we take a test, right? We want to go to a special school, so we take a test, right? So, after we take that test, that test determines or controls where, what level we go. If we get a hundred, that determines we go to the top level. If we get a 50, then that determines we go to the middle level, right? Really just controls where we're going. C, what did the researchers conclude recently? What did they finalize? What did they, you know, finish uh, studying recently? Researchers recently concluded components of DNA were blank from these ancient people. So here it is. Uh, DNA is passed from the mother to the child to the you know, father or mother to the child and then the child has babies, it keeps going. That is how DNA is transferred. So uh, when we get something from our mother, we uh, get our good eyes from our mother. We get our nice nose from our father. When we're getting certain DNA or certain genes, we say it is inherited. So for example, if your grandfather has a very big castle, right, and it's his castle, and unfortunately your, uh, your grandfather gets very old and he passes away or he dies, well, who will get that castle? Uh, your grandfather's son or your father will inherit that castle, meaning he will get it from his mother his father, your father's mother, which is your grandmother and grandfather. All right, so next one. We have three key terms here. Today, about 2% of people's DNA can be blank to Neanderthals. So today's uh, DNA or today's, the people of today and their DNA, we want to know where did it come from? Where did it originate from? Where is the source, right? So we have to follow this DNA to see who has similar DNA, sort of like a puzzle, and we want to follow it all the way to history, to ancient times. So in to follow, it means to trace. So if we want to, if there is a uh, broken glass here, right, and we want to know how did it get here, then we can trace the broken glass to maybe the kitchen, right? We can follow the broken pieces and trace it back to where it started from, the kitchen. B, it appears that there is a connection between these genes that blank allergies and those that protect us against bacteria and viruses. So these genes, when we have, let's say we have gene A, B, and C, right? If we get gene A, then we will have to follow A's genes, such as long hair, brown eyes. If we get C, it will really control or affect or influence what our body is, right? It will, the genes will control if we have allergies. The genes will control if we have no allergies, right? So to really, to change or to influence is to affect. So how much you study affects your test grade. If you study a little bit, well, your test grade will be very low. If you study all night, every day, then your test score will be high. How much you study will affect or change your test grade. C, people have immunities that we are born with and other immunities that are blank. So there are really two ways we can get immunities. One is we are born with it. From when we come out of our mother's stomach, that first day we have certain immunities. And however, other immunities, we sort of collect it and we build it as we grow older. So if we get sick, then we get sick, but the next time we will be stronger because we you know, had that practice sickness. 
So when we sort of get or gather or collect or obtain something, that is to acquire. So we can say, where do we acquire you know, bread? We can go to the bakery. Where do we acquire fruits and vegetables? Well, we can go to the mart, right? So to review, trace. Trace is to follow sort of evidence and follow clues to see where the starting point was. Affect means to change or influence or really affect something else. So if we study a lot, we'll get a high score. And if we study a little bit, we'll get a low score. It affects our score, how much we study. Acquire is not to be born with it, but acquire means to get it yourself, to build it yourself, to sort of train and cultivate something yourself. All right? So next time you get sick, don't be mad because your body is really in training for the next time you get sick. So you should be happy that your body is still working the way it should be. All right, so thank you for joining us for Junior Times. My name's Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.